Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. But what we're doing in this video, recently, if you didn't catch it, I bought some of this ammo from a gun show. A lot of y'all said good deal, and a lot of y'all said, you must be out of your mind to shoot bullets from somebody you don't know, but you know what I think? Do you know the machine that loads all the ammo that you buy from your store? Probably not, so eh, whatever. I don't think homeboy at the gun show was out to blow people up, but Here's what I got if you didn't see the other video. This is what, 31 rounds of 25 ACP I got for $3. You can't beat that. And this is seven millimeter Ren Mag, 15 rounds that I got for $9. And that's a pretty incredible deal. Magnum ammo is not cheap, but I'm gonna shoot this stuff out of my Beretta. And I forgot what this is called. I can never remember these. This is a Beretta. 950 BS, pretty sweet little shooter. And then the seven millimeter rim mags, I'm gonna shoot out of my Remington 770. And this thing is a sweet shooter too. But yeah, I'm just gonna have some fun and see if my gun show ammo blows up in my face. I don't think it will, but y'all check it out. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna shoot the pistol first. All right, so first I'm gonna shoot the Beretta. I've already got a bunch loaded in the mag. I got one in the pipe. This is one of those little pop-up barrel deals if you've never seen one before. If you see one of these, pick it up. I actually picked this one up from Heavy Metal. So, yeah, buddy. But, uh, I'm just going to shoot some random steel targets with this thing and uh, see if this gun show ammo works. I promise you it's all going to run. Check it out. I like this little pistol. You just got to be careful it doesn't come back and bite you with the slide. Yeah. Uh, can y'all see these? In, yeah, you can see these over here. Shoot that pig first. Yeah, dead on, baby. Felt a little bit hotter than the other one, actually. That one I pulled the trigger and missed, but let's go a little further away at 20 yards up there. I'm gonna shoot those red targets right there. I don't know how many I got left. Oh man, was that the last one? Oh, it didn't eject that last one. Well, some of y'all might have been right about buying gun show ammo. That last one didn't eject. Let me see here. Yeah, I got more in the mag. Uh-oh. Got the screwdriver. Oh, man. I'm going to have to admit it. Something messed up with my gun show ammo. Let me pop that baby out. Huh. It didn't shoot that round. Yeah. So, that was the deal. Huh. So that last primer got hit and didn't shoot was the problem. It wasn't that it didn't eject it, it just had a dead primer. I'm gonna put it in there again. See if it fires it. Maybe it will. Fired it on the third primer hit. Yep. <laughs> but it didn't eject that one. Something funky about that round. It didn't, uh, Took three hits on the primer to shoot it, and it didn't eject it. So, hmm. Well, we got more in this mag. Let's finish them out. I'll get one in there. Oh, and that sucker didn't load. Man, this is not a good... I was trying to prove people wrong with this video, and then I'm messing it up. Oh, man, another one. Man, yeah, we hit the mess out of that. Well, there you have it. I've never had problems with this Beretta in my life, and I've run a bunch of ammo through it, so, man. Y'all who said don't trust the guy at the gun show ammo are right so far, at least with that 25. But I mean, at that price, I'm not gonna hate it. $3, that was worth $3 to me if two of them didn't go off. But, hey. 
Let's see if the seven millimeter rim mag works. That stuff's got a whole lot more powder in it than these little 25s. Let's load it up. I still got a bunch left in that bag. I still call that a deal. Yeah, for three bucks you can't beat it. Now, the seven millimeter rim mag has got that long action job here. So I'm gonna load up three of these first. I think the mag only holds three. It holds either three or four. You get three of these out of here. I'm gonna look at the brass, make sure it all says seven millimeter rim mag. And it does, so it ought to fire in that gun. Here's a close up of that stuff. If y'all wanna see it. Focus, Mr. Camera, there we go. But hey, looks like it ought to fire. So uh, it ought to fire and I always, Get these mags confused. I think they ought to go in the other way they actually go. But here's three seven millimeter. I'm gonna shoot those three uh, circles up there on the hill. This scope's dead on, so if I miss them, something funky happens either with me or the ammo. Oh man. Y'all who hate on my 770s are gonna be happy now because my 770 isn't wanting to load good. We literally just fired these and didn't have any problem with them. Yeah. All right, just be gentle with it. Well, there it went. Seven millimeter rim mag. See if I can put the slap on those three circles up there. Oh yeah, that actually popped my neck. That's a hot round. Ouchers. Yeah, it's a hot round? Yeah. Yeah, boy. I might have to shoot some of these at a deer or something. Let's shoot for that red one in the middle there. I guess it is a hot round, that, seeing as it popped my neck. Yeah. Uh, it almost scares me a little bit. Let's shoot the red one up there. That definitely is loaded hot. Yeah. I've got some factory stuff we were just shooting this rifle. That stuff's definitely hot, but hey. Hotter the better, right? Yeah. That's what I say. Well, let's shoot that other one right beside it. So, I mean, bolt action, it's got less things to break and jam, what have you. But hey, 15 rounds, what did I say? For $9, a seven millimeter rim mag and some hot stuff, I'll take that all day. But, Thanks for watching the video today, guys. Hey, I think I still came out square, especially with that seven millimeter rim mag. Pop my neck, it's got some boogie on those. Definitely gonna probably save some of that ammo back for hunting season next year with the seven millimeter. But 25, seven millimeter ammo. I think I got some good deals at the gun show. It worked for the most part. Appreciate y'all watching big time. A big thanks to Heavy Metal. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!